Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. You join me on a very, very, very sunny Sunday. Uh, we've got a bit of a heat wave here at the minute, and it's lovely. And I'm going to pretty much be going out at midday for my run. Probably not the best idea for me because I'm pasty as hell. So I need to remember to wear some of this. <laughs> Before I get going, I did just want to say thank you to everyone who's commented on the last video with regards to uh, my new Vaporflies carbon shoes and let me know what they're using and their kind of first impressions of what they're using and whether they've used the, the Vaporflies before. I really do appreciate that. I'll link to that in the comments section above. Um, yeah, really interesting topic with all the shoes that are coming out at the minute and I'm looking forward to this run session today. Now, I... I'm in a bit of a catch-22, right? So I want to test the shoes more and I want to use the shoes more and get used to them before race day because I'm not going to lie, that first run I did, um, number one, I didn't have my watch because it was it was meant to be an easy jog um, with a few strides and sometimes on my easy jogs, I just like just nothing, just not, not taking my watch, nothing and just going out and just not having any distractions. So I didn't really have an idea of what pace I was going. Um, it, they felt quick, but I didn't have the kind of pace to back it up. It just felt good. And sometimes it can be a bit of a placebo effect, can't it? You know, you try something new and it's meant to be better and you just immediately, you feel better without it actually potentially being correct or being, being any better. Um, so that's the first thing. And then the other thing, um, I can't remember what I was saying now because I've gone off on such a tangent. <laughs> um, yes, I do want to test them more, um, but it is a bit of a catch-22 because I don't want to wear them out because, as people know, the shoes don't last that long and I want to keep them as fresh as possible for race day, but then I don't want to turn up to race day and feel weird because I haven't tested them out. So, the plan today is to test them out further and do a proper testing because last time last time I tested them in the last video wasn't really that legit because I didn't have my watch on me couldn't really relate to the paces that I was going in and kind of connect that with the feeling that I had so that's what today's all about um the shoes have only done like I don't know not even 2k probably so they're still very very fresh and this will probably be like the last session I do before any kind of racing because I like I said I do want to keep them as fresh as Humanly possible. So, this is the session. Now, it's a fairly long one, but I'm looking forward to doing this descent. So, 12 by a K, starting at 420, dropping by five seconds every kilometer. As you can see, I've got a 4K warm up and a three to 4K cool down. That's 8K, I don't necessarily want to be wearing the shoes. Um, I've heard a few people, thank you very much again for your comments in the last video, a few people said it's just really weird running in the shoes when you're just going easy. So I'm gonna go out, do 4K in my normal trainers, come back, swap to my vapor flies. Then I'm gonna head up to Odd Down, do the session. Once I've done the session, I'm gonna come back home, change into my normal shoes and then do my cool down. I think that's the best way to do it. It'll also give me that kind of new shoe feeling as well after the warm up, because I will have just used my Brooks Ghost and then I'll jump straight into the vapor flies for the session. So hopefully it will give me a really good idea of kind of the difference. So for the session, it's 12 by a K. It's a fairly long session, 30 seconds rest between each. And I'm starting at 420 per kilometer pace. So it's not that quick. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see where the shoes really start to kind of make a difference. Because I feel like at the slower paces, it might, it probably won't be feeling like that great. Um, but then at the quicker paces, I'm thinking it really should start to kind of make quite a big difference. Okay, done. Wow, it is hot outside. So I'm gonna take a bottle with me, chuck it at the side of odd down track and probably use all of it to dump over me at some point. But then I'm just thinking about that, it's gonna be warm water. Oh well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so that hasn't gone to plan. Um, I've gone up to Odd Down. It's half one now. Uh, and the track has been privately booked out until three. So I can't go on it. <laughs> so I need to find somewhere else to do my kilometer reps. And I'm not really too sure where. Obviously I want it to be on the tarmac because I don't want to ruin the shoes. So, uh, just trying to have a little think about where I can do it. We're about 6K in to the warm up. It was meant to be 4K, but oh well. Um, it's a penis on the ground. Weird. <laughs> now, I do want to do it on a road, but I don't want to do it where it's really busy. Um, and I could do it along that road there, but it gets quite busy. So, and I kind of want to do it somewhere relatively flat. So I'm going to do it through Kenny Lane. Um, it's not massively flat, but uh, it will do the job. Kind of goes down this way and then kicks up a little bit. Whether it's a full kilometer or not, I have no idea. But we'll just do with uh, do the best with what we've got. So let's leave the bottle somewhere here. Hope no one does anything nasty to it. <laughs> Start the first interval. So, in three, two, one, we go. <laughs> Six down. Halfway. Um, hmm. Yeah, feeling all right for these first six. And um, that last one was about a bit too quick. Five seconds too quick. Um, but yeah, just gonna do the same again on the next one. Feeling good. Shoes are feeling decent. So we'll crack on. Three twenty-two was the last one. Um, it's hot. <laughs> it was really hot. <sighs> yeah, good session. Obviously, didn't quite go to plan because I wanted to use odd down, but um, nonetheless, still got it done on this country road. Um, immediately off the top of my head, with response to these shoes, wow, in a straight line. They're very good. I almost felt like robotic, if that kind of makes sense. Like I just, I just had to keep the legs moving and the, the shoes were gonna do their work. And yeah, it was absolutely great. Um, what I would say though, is everything under your foot is the important stuff. And it feels like anything kind of covering the top of your foot is a bit of like, not necessarily an afterthought, but it's not really that important. Um, the, yeah. The stability's just the biggest issue, really, I think. Um, but, you know, are your runs ever gonna be that technical? Like, in a race? Eh, some are. Um, what I would say, on a road like this, where it's a bit of like a country lane, there's always a camber um, either side of the, the center. So I was finding I had to run in the center to feel natural and feel good. Because if I was running um, down like this section, down the side, because of the camber, it put so much pressure on my ankles um, and it just felt really uncomfortable. Um, and then I was doing dead turns as well, which the straight lines, like I said, were brilliant. The dead turns were not so comfortable. Um, the best way to describe cornering in these shoes is like, imagine running in flip-flops and then trying to run around a corner. Like your foot's just gonna slip off them. And that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like your foot's just gonna like roll over. Um, and it does like, it feels really strange. Um, yeah, so not stable at all, but speed wise, you can't, I can't really fault them. Like they just feel really good. Before I finish this video, I was speaking to a guy called Tom Ward. For those of you that don't know him, he owns a company called Passion Fit Coaching with his wife, Lauren. Um, and we were talking on Instagram the other day about kind of like the moral implications of these Nike shoes. And it was quite an interesting chat, to be honest, because 
Yeah, like I completely agree with where he was coming from with regards to I completely I just don't agree with stuff Nike has done in the past, you know, stuff with the athletes that they've um, been supporting, blah, 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 all the crap that's come out about them. I don't agree with that. And I think if anyone does agree with that, then there's, you know, there's something wrong with their moral compass. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's hard because um, you've kind of got to separate that feeling, your kind of morals, from the desire to have the fastest shoe and that will give you the best result. Now, will it, is, is it the fastest shoe? Arguably, people will argue for, you know, other shoes as well, I'm sure. Um, but in my opinion, I thought, you know, these Vaporflies would be the fastest shoe. I kind of had to separate my moral feeling, which is I don't agree with Nike. And I had to just shut that out and just purchase the shoe purely for a selfish reason. And that reason is I want to get the fastest times possible and I want to try and get my pro license. Now, does that make me a bad person because I've invested money in that kind of company? Mm, I mean, it's hard to say, really. Like, some people would say yes, some people would say no. Some people would say it doesn't really make a difference. Um, it's an, an interesting topic anyway, and I'd be interested to hear what some people think of that in the description below. Uh, please do let me know because, yeah, I mean, I didn't really think about it much until me and Tom had a chat about it, and I was like, actually, it's an interesting one. So yeah, food for thought. Anyway, I might go out and get stuff for a barbecue tonight. Because I'm a legend. So I will love you and leave you. Hope all your training is going well. And like I keep saying, hope to see all of you very soon. I'll catch you in the next video.